it's always fun in an O-line room to get together with all these guys because we're kind of overlooked from the rest of the team. So when we are together, we just like to have fun with each other, joke around. There's always good for laughs in that O-line room. I wait! It's a different bond than anyone on the team. You ask a football team and you say, tell us about your O-line, and they're just gonna talk about how like that's one group over there. If you mess with one of us, you're gonna mess with the whole entire group. You might be my best friend on the football team, and I might have an offensive lineman that, you know, I might not hang out with much outside of football, but if you mess with him, like, it's going down. Like, those are my boys. Like, there's just a special bond between us offensive linemen that you can't mess with. I think we're all wired a little differently up top. You spend so much time with the other guys in your room, the other guys that you're playing next to, that you all learn a little bit too much about each other, but it, it makes the position so special, the relationship I have with those guys and with the running backs and quarterbacks that we protect. I'm not standing upright with a clean jersey if they're not doing their jobs and they don't get enough credit. So it's a thankless position, but I'm thankful for them. If I don't have an O-line or if a quarterback doesn't have an O-line, you're no good at all. So you gotta take care of the big guys, whether it's a dinner or whether it's a night out or something like that, I always make sure we did that. We do O-line dinner on Thursday nights. The tables just get bowed down because there's so much food on the table. I think a good example is we go to Chili's sometimes and I think everybody gets the two for 25 just for themselves. We're all big guys so we're ravaging the food and it's several plates and it's a, not a good sight. There's a lot of food going down. You can't just have you know one serving and it's a ton of meat and a ton of chips and the whole deal. So we, we put down some serious food together. <laughs> when those 11 people are in the huddle, their objective is to get into the end zone. And you do have your quarterback and your running backs and your wide receivers, but try to get in that end zone without that left tackle and right guard, it isn't going to happen. And that's the same in the business and, and throughout life. There are unsung heroes, there are people that are working behind the scenes, but at the end of the day, you can't get the prize unless everybody's doing their job and doing it well.